lymphatic system consists of lymphatic capillaries, lymphatic vessels, larger lymphatic vessels that are lymphatic duct and subclavian vein, lymphatic nodes, and also lymphatic organs, thymus, spleen, and tonsil. The function of lymphatic system is to return interstitial fluid to the circulatory system. Other than that, the lymphatic system also functions to trigger our immune response and absorb lipid from the digestive tract. Tonsil, which is located under the lining of oral cavity and throat, protects our respiratory system from bacteria and foreign materials that enter our respiratory system through mouth and nose. Thymus is located just beneath the breastbone, and this is the site of T-cell maturation. T-cell is involved in immune response. And spleen, that is located on the left side of our abdomen, filters blood to prevent infection by bloodborne antigens. As blood moves along the capillary, hydrostatic pressure in the blood forces fluid to move out from the blood into the interstitial fluid. At the arterial end of blood capillary, hydrostatic pressure of plasma is higher than osmotic pressure of plasma. Osmotic pressure forces the fluid to be drawn back into the blood. So, when hydrostatic pressure is high and osmotic pressure is low, at the arterial end of blood capillary, fluid is forced to move out from the blood into the interstitial fluid. Then, at the venous end of blood capillary, hydrostatic pressure is lower than osmotic pressure. So, high osmotic pressure will force the fluid to be drawn back into the blood from the interstitial fluid into the blood. More fluid leaves at the arterial end of capillary than is returned at the venous end of capillary. So, excess interstitial fluid will be returned to the circulatory system via the lymphatic system. The wall of lymphatic capillary has endothelial cells which overlap slightly. This allows interstitial fluid to enter the lymphatic capillary. Accumulation of interstitial fluid in the interstitial space presses against the lymphatic capillary and that pushes the overlapping structure inward. So when that happens, interstitial fluid enters the lymphatic capillary. In the lymphatic capillary, the interstitial fluid is called lymph. Lymphatic capillary will then carry the lymph to the lymphatic vessels, to larger vessels. Lymphatic node can be found along the lymphatic vessels. So as the lymph flows along the lymphatic vessels, the lymph will encounter lymphatic nodes. Lymphatic nodes are widely distributed throughout the body, for example, in the neck and in the armpits. So when the lymph arrives at the lymphatic node, the node will filter out substances like bacteria, damaged cells and cancer cells. Other than that, lymph nodes also function to store lymphocytes. Lymphocytes are white blood cells that can destroy invading viruses or bacteria. For example, when we have infection, lymphocytes that are stored in the, in the lymphatic node will multiply rapidly to begin fighting the infection. So what happens is that the lymph nodes become swollen, enlarged and tender. From the lymphatic vessels, the limb is carried to the right lymphatic duct and thoracic duct. From the lymphatic duct, the limb is carried to the subclavian vein, right subclavian vein and left subclavian vein that will carry the fluid 
to the circulatory system. Right lymphatic duct carries lymph from the right side of the head, neck, and thorax into the right subclavian vein. Thoracic duct conducts limb from the entire body aside from the right upper limb to the left subclavian vein. Lymphatic disease affects the limb, limb vessels, lymph nodes or limb organs. The disease includes lymphoma, which is cancer of the lymphatic system. Lymphoma happens when a change occurs in the lymphocytes. The abnormal lymphocytes or cancerous lymphocytes will multiply rapidly and spread to many body parts. There are two types of lymphoma. The most common one is non-Hodgkin lymphoma. This cancer can be treated by chemotherapy, immunotherapy, or radiation and targeted therapy. Lymphatic disease also includes lymphedema, which is edema or swelling of the lymphatic vessels that generally occurs in arms or legs. Lymphedema can happen as a side effect of cancer treatment, such as breast cancer, where the lymphatic nodes are removed to check for the breast cancer cells. It can also happen after radiation treatment for cancer, where the, radi where the radiation can cause scarring and inflammation of the lymphatic nodes and lymphatic vessels. Other than that, lymphedema can also happen when the fluid flow is blocked by cancer cells or parasite infection. So when the fluid flow is blocked, this can cause damage to tissues in affected area. This disease cannot be cured, but it can be controlled by staying healthy with proper hygiene. This figure shows swelling of the leg and the affected skin thicken and harden. This disease is known as lymphatic filariasis or elephantiasis, one example of lymphedema that is caused by infection. The parasitic roundworm lives in the human lymphatic system. This disease is transmitted by mosquitoes. Larvae of the parasitic roundworm develop into adult worms in the human lymphatic system. Adult worms will then produce millions of microfilari, the microscopic worms, that will circulate in the blood. Mosquito is infected when it bites infected person. Microfilari infect the mosquito and develop in the mosquito into larvae. So when the infected mosquito bites another person, the larvae is passed from the mosquito into the human body. The larvae will then develop into adult worms in the human lymphatic system.